What a night for a fight. We're at Brooklyn Hall. My name is Todd Grisham. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. Hi, Todd. Hi to everybody back home. It's time for our tale of the tape. And in this corner, it's Connor, the destroyer Ben. He's 173 centimeters tall with a reach of 173. And he'll be facing Michael McKinson, 175 centimeters tall with 179 centimeter reach. We'll be talking about this fight for years to come. This is one of those classic fights that everybody wants to see. It's the destroyer, Connor Ben, one of those must see type of fighters coming out of the UK. The famous son of a legend who's beating his own path. Michael the Problem McKinson. This fighter out of England fights from the southpaw stance and can be very hard to hit. It'll be ding ding from first bell there off. Looks like we're ready to go here. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, introducing from Essex, England, a continental welterweight champion, Connor the Destroyer Ben. Hiding out of the blue corner, from Hampshire, England, here is a European welterweight champion, introducing Michael the Problem McKinson. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. You couldn't even squeeze through to your seat. This right. is that pack. The, the atmosphere is ridiculous. At all times. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. And we're underway in round one. They just got their bell rung. Neither man really defending themselves. We welcome you to this beautiful theater where every seat has been sold, but don't expect these fans to be sitting down. We expect a standing ovation when these two are done. For a fighter walking into a theater, I think this is the closest thing to fighting in it. This is not the way he wanted. Oh, and that changes everything, and down they go. One, two, three, four. Don't want to trade shots. Not many of the people in the division hit like this. And that big shot just right down goes Ben. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Which fighter is winning this bout? That was super tight. I dread being a judge. Don't change too much yet. Keep doing what you're doing. You get to appear. Just stay. Here we go. It's round two. Defense is not an option for these two. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first, and then we'll strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. It's 
you're fine to the counter punch and you've got a dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react them. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. Up, up, keep your punches up. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he misses with that jab. And just as quickly as the action slows down, it heats back up. Looks like we're going to see... Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As we enter the final 10 seconds here, it's probably a round he'd rather forget. Not okay, much to write home about in that round, huh, Johnny? You've got to see what's in front of you. Don't pressure them. Let them take at their own pace. Don't let him get back into his fight. Don't let him get that confidence. He's going to be straight. They ring the bell, and here we go. That left shot lands. Those punches add up. Do you believe what we're seeing? This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. One, two, three, four, five. Kinson may go down here. Oh, and the problem's got a big problem because he's down on the canvas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're out. Not many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. What a build-up. What a journey towards this fight. What a fight itself. The crowd enjoyed it. The fighters enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. And what a way to end the fight. There's no mistake there about who won. What a shot.